Hello YouTube. Well, before I start, you're gonna notice that one, I'm starting to breath. Two, I kind of sound funny. And three is because I have bronchitis and I'm asthmatic and my bron my lungs are like so small. But I wanted to put this video up because I have so many people asking me this because and I was curious myself to see if I can do it. So I tried and. This is the outcome to what I'm talking about now. Okay, so anyways, so what I'm talking about is the gel sandwiching um, with regular nail polish. I'm dying here. Bronchitis and asthma doesn't mix. Well, this is what I did, and I used glitter nail polish. Mm -hmm. I was, I wondered if I was gonna try it. I wanted to try it with. Something I know was the nail polish was gonna dry fast, and I'd have to worry about <coughs> waiting like freaking 15 minutes for my stupid nail polish to dry. Especially some of the colors that I have, they're like mm, I I like sheer colors, but I don't like them sheer on my nail. That makes sense. I have to layer them and layer them and layer them and layer them until they they. You fit my, you know, my thing. Well, anyways. Okay, so these are the way my nails look. Pretty. Uh -huh. And they are rock solid. There's like this scratching my nails. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I just tapped it on the laptop. Well, anyways. So, the two colors I use where sinful this one is a uh, sinful colors and it's in nail junkie 927 and this is a blue glitter boop, out of focus blue glitter but it has gold flakes in it and the other one I use is a finger paints polish and I got this one from Sally's on clearance it was 529 on clearance um, and this one is a sparkle top coat and this has like gold flakes. Wait, you can see that. And that's just it just says sparkle top coat eighty sixty one twenty-five. Okay. The gel that I used, um, people are using that gelish nail set. Um, I keep seeing that all over YouTube. Well I don't have a UV light, so I use the ASP Lightless Gel Kit. No UV light required. That is why it's my favorite. Those things are freaking expensive. So, what you're gonna need is the AS ASP Gel Cure Activator Spray. And this comes in a kit. Um, like this gel that's in the kit. The kit comes with these and a little um, nail glue thing and it comes with like a set of 30 nails but it's like for one full set something like that. But anyways all you're going to need is these two things the gel and the cure. Any nail polish of choice I chose to I can't put it. I can still never get used to this stupid thing. Two. Like this is this is my right hand, but on the thing it's my left. Well, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? So I have to like point these things like way far right for it to be on the screen, which is retarded. But you know, I don't know. I'll get used to it somehow. So any nail polish of choice. I chose glitter for the first time because I wasn't sure how this was going to work. So, bam. First time, try glitter because it dries faster. Um, nail polish more. Or rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Um, nail filer. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy, you were questioning me. And this is a 100 slash 180 that I got. 
and then the other side of the so it's really nice. I hate when the thing blasts out like that because I don't know like the face that I'm making when it does that and you guys are like, what's going on with the face? Well anyways, um, 129.40, the other side. Nope, that's not it. I'm lying to you. It says flower it, whatever, a nail flower, any kind, any grain, whatever. You just need a nail flower. Okay, first thing, prep your nails. You need to get all, any leftover nail polish that you had on your nail. Any old stuff, um, nail polish remover, rip that off. What I personally like to do every time I change my nails, I um, take all the old nail polish remover off. Okay, I file my nails so they can be as smooth. The surface is as smooth as possible. It takes off all the dead cuticle skin that's on your nails, and um, also the oils that are on your nails. I can't think of the word. Um, okay, so after that's done, again, either get rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover and rub it on your nails to get all the, the oils from your skin off because you're touching all bottling your nails over there. Okay, so that, that's done. Take those away. Then, you get your Lightless gel, little bottle here, and you open the cap. I use a nail art brush. I use my flat top nail art brush. I don't know if you can see that. This is my nail, my ASP nail art brushes too. Whoa, huh? I didn't even notice that. What are you? What about that? Papa papa tech for kaka. I can't talk. Okay. Well, I, apparently I have the ASP nail pl I am not getting paid for this, I promise you. I bought this shit from Sally and it was not cheap. <laughs> um, nail art brushes. And I use the flat brush that I use for flowers um, to spread the gel evenly on your nail. Okay, and a thin coat. So you just put it at the smallest bead, doop, and then you smooth it out on your nail evenly on all nails, on all your nails. I did um, a bead, smooth bead, smooth bead, smooth on all five fingers and then I sprayed the activator. Okay. Then I let it activate. Give it, I gave it about um, 15 seconds to activate because I don't like to smell so I like, constantly shake my hand because this stuff does stink. The activator spray, oh Jesus. It is not happening to Brokhanis and me not even be able to breathe right now anyway. So, that. And then as soon as you do that first layer, your nails are hard. And that is your foundation. Then you're going to get any nail polish of choice. Mine was the glitter. And I applied three coats. But I applied one coat, let it dry another coat, let it dry, another coat, let it dry on all of my fingers. Also with the blue glitter is um, three coats too. Um, and I let them dry in between coats. Okay, so after my nail polish is dry, then I start the process over again and I get the gel. There you go. I get the gel. There it goes. There we go. The gel. And I put a little bead. Boop. Right on top of the nail polish. Smooth it over again. I put, okay, on all five nails. Activate. Waited 50 seconds again because I'm hyperventilating over the stupid scent. Okay. And then I did another layer. This is optional. I did it because I was just like, I think it needs another layer because I did it pretty thin so it's like I think it needs another layer so if you can do it a little bit thicker than the first time then you don't need another layer but yeah so I put a second layer to do and then I sprayed the activator twice spray spray and I spray the activator I get my nails like this and then I sprayed once let it breathe for a little while and spray twice and then I shook my hand, shook my hand. I sprayed it all together in one thing because this 
a little goes a long way. Trust me. Okay. Prior to spraying your activator, after you do your final gel top coat above the nail polishes, um, get your nail and squeeze the side. Clean all the excess gel on the side that's still wet and pull back on your pinky. Get all the excess gel from down here. Make sure you cap on your nails just like on the other videos. Make sure you cap on your nails that way you don't get any lifting. Okay, so after you do that, then activate. If you activate before you do that, you are going to get like your skin stuck to the side of your nails. And that's going to look funny because when you pull the sides of your nails, you're going to have like this stiff gel chunk of stuff just sitting there, and that's not cool. So, well, I guess you can file it off, but that's like no work and yeah I don't want to do that but in the end you got a gel manicure that's gonna last you a while it lasts about two weeks three weeks or so depending on how rough you are on your nails I'm a caregiver and where I work I have to do dishes like twice a day because I'm there in the morning and I have to do breakfast dishes and lunch dishes but I wear gloves because I always have my nails done so they last me about two or three weeks. Normally, with regular nail polishes, last me about a week and a half. But so this probably should last about two or three weeks. I'm gonna try it out and I'll do an update video. But they're like I've already been so rough with them since I've done this, so I'm guaranteeing they're probably gonna last longer than regular nail polish. Because it's gel, and the, when I did my set of the um, the gel, when I did the first time I used this product, I did the gel nail set. Like um, I put the fake tips on and did the whole gel nail set, and those suckers stayed on for like almost a month, and I had to take them off because why did it take? Oh, I'm not allowed to have fake nails at um, where I work. So, I had to take them off. So, bam, I can wear this at work because I don't have fake nails. I just have a gel manicure now. So, bah ha ha, job. Bah ha ha. Well, yeah. I have a ha Sorry, I have a habit of putting my fingers in my mouth. I did wash my hands. Okay, that's another thing. Um. I'm sick. I'm probably going to have to wash my hands again. Ooh, germs. Okay. Especially strip throat. Um. I'm not going to be able to touch nothing or anyone. Don't touch my laptop. Ah, hand sanitizer. Where are you? Uh. Okay, we're going to stop drip. After you activate your last thing, let them dry. Wash your hands with cold water and some soap. Because they're going to stink. <laughs> Wash, 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 wash. If you feel that you did your layer too thick, it's gel. You can file the heck out of it. Boop, boop, ba, ba. There's one that I did. I think it was this thing. I think I did too thick. And I went back and I filed it and I filed it. And I just um, rubbed. Um, like after the file to get the excess powder off, I just went over one time, went a wipe with the nail polish remover, and it's still shiny. You can't even tell the difference. Oops. Okay, you can't even tell the difference from any of the other ones. They're so shiny, so shiny, so shiny, shine bright like a diamond. Yeah, I just did that. Okay, so try it, and you do not. Son of a biscuit. This thing keeps freezing on me one more time. Look at this video's over, and I'm sorry that it's 14 minutes long. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, I have to wash my hands and try not to touch anything. Try this. ASP. I got mine at Sally's.com, but I'm pretty sure 
I got mine at Sally's store, not Sally's.com, but I'm pretty sure they sell it on Sally's.com and also at any beauty supply store. Walmart does not hold this kit. Nope, I tried looking for it and they don't hold it, so they're, yeah, fired. I don't think anybody does other than Sally's beauty supply. Alta holds it. I think Sephora holds it, but I not don't quote me on that because I don't know. When I'm in Sephora, it's all about makeup. Not nail. Sorry. Um, yeah. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And rock on nail junkies. Bye bye. I like that. Nail that nail polish, nail junkies. It's pretty cool.